Oh, and a penalty shootout defeat to Hamilton in the League Cup today. Your thoughts on the game? Yeah, I think, uh, obviously, I thought it's penalties. You don't like to lose any game. I mean, actually, had we won the penalties, you might find that might very, very well have found ourselves in the last 16 of the Cup, depending on what Aberdeen's result would be tomorrow. If they were to win, I think that would, that would have found us as one of the three best runners-up. So, uh, But in terms of what, what we wanted to do in the cup, League Cup section, get ourselves fit, get ourselves better for the for the start of the Championship, then, then there was a lot to be pleased about. Uh, some of the play, I mean, we, we scored one, we could have three or four today, the keeper did a couple of outstanding saves after after giving a goal of a start in the first three, four minutes, whatever it was. And uh, But listen, we've got character, we'll, and as we move forward, we obviously need to continue to progress and get better, and that's what we'll do. So there was there's things we need to certainly be better at, but equally, there was an awful lot to be pleased about as well, and that's the key moving forward. Make sure we you know we rectify those little mistakes, but we can't, we'll still keep focusing on the positive stuff we're doing and get better at that also. You talk Touched upon the poor start to the game going 1-0 down after about three minutes. How do you think we responded to that? Yeah, I mean, I thought, uh, I didn't think, in, in fairness to Hamilton, I thought they worked really hard in the first half, but without being like over creative, it was a lot of, you know, long balls, not for headers, and then on the second ball, we had to, nah, that's about we need to, a little bit we need to get better at and getting about, you know, make sure that, you know, if people are going to be physical and uh, you have that type of game, they were able to stand up to it because we know we can play, we know we're wonderful passes of the ball and entertaining and pleasing the eye, but we've got to be, make sure that we're ready to do the dirty work because you can't do the other side and turn the earn the right to play. And we did that in the second half, we took control, I mean, from the, the first whistle to the last whistle in the second half, there was only one team getting it down, pushing forward, playing on it. Uh, Simon Murray looked to have scored a good goal, it gave offside, maybe it is, but you know, a great ball in for Liam Brown, Simon does really well, and with we numerous chances, even then late on, Tommy Robson was you know, popping up because we're you know, committing people forward as we like to do, and be say, playing some good football, and Tommy all looked to offset to score and win the game, uh, so we continued to make chances, and that was really pleasing. As you said, second half was a lot better, and Jake Davidson got his first goal for the club? Yeah, it was a great, great finish. Uh, and as you know, as his luck would have it, he's the one that misses the penalty when we come into the uh, the shootout as they do. But yeah, listen, he, he's getting better all the time. Still got things that he needs to improve on, but he's got pace, he's got power, he's looking at, uh, uh, at he's certainly going the right direction to a very good Queen's Park player. And uh, with young Alex Bannon stepping in today, I think at 18 years of age, and uh, delighted for that as well. So you know, as we move forward, we want to get. You know, a number of those young boys coming in, they have to earn the right. And Alex Sad, he's worked really hard in training in the games, played centre back against East Bride last week and did very well. And today was a perfect opportunity to give him those minutes, and uh, and he should be pleased with, with how he's acquitted himself. You brought Josh McPeak in this morning, and he was able to make an appearance in the second half. What do you think he'll bring to the club? Well, we've seen it there in some of the some of the little moments. Uh, I mean, he's went by people you know, a couple of times, you know, as if they're not there, drove in along the byline, and you know, so he's certainly going to be a good player for us. There's no doubt about a pack with ability. He wants to show his quality, uh, and hopefully that's what he'll do. But again, another player that you know, a real footballer that we're trying to bring to the club that we want. As I say, we want to win games, but we want also for people to enjoy watching this Queen's Park team and if we can marry the two together then that's going to help us moving forward. And your thoughts on the pre-season and League Cup campaign as we move into the league season now? Yeah I think it's served as well, I mean I as you know don't like losing at anything uh, but there's ways particularly the second half how we get back you know the other day when you think of the Dundee game who are against a very very good side but the qualities we showed in that half and then coming here to Hamilton again which you know I know we're, we're at home at Dundee but they're probably all away fixtures now until we get back to, to our proper home. But in the meantime, you know, we, we've shown that we can come away from home and perform, and uh, and that augurs well for the season. We've still got you know another two or three to come in to add to, you know, you, you mentioned Josh McPake. We're still looking for players of that quality to add to what we're doing, so that we make sure when we come into the championship, we, we are competitive and we're ready to go. And that's why, you know, I think again, as we always are at Queens Park, we're set for for an exciting season and one we're all looking forward to. Thanks, Owen. Pleasure as always.